Hi, it's Liz from Wavecrest Crafts. And today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this little mini concertina rainbow tag album. And I've used the Pearly Winks um, spritzes for the colour on the little tag book. And these are the little tags, and these measure six by four inches, so great for your little photographs. So a really nice, colourful little project and really easy to put together. Okay, so for the project, you will need one piece of thick card measuring five by three inches, seven pieces of thick card measuring nine by six inches, seven pieces of thin or medium mount board measuring six by four inches, two pieces of thin or medium mount board measuring six and a quarter by four and a half inches, the Pearly Winks travel set, white ribbon, a hole punch or pokey tool, just something that you can put a hole in your tags for the ribbon, glue or tape, whatever you prefer to use. I have used both on this project, a black pen, and then a mini stamp set of your choice for the front cover. Um, the one I've used today is an all and create one which is a little mini flower girl, really cute. And I've coloured her in with some um, metallic watercolour paints. So she's got a bit of a shine going on as well, really matching with the rainbow theme. Okay, so to start off with, you need your pieces of card that measure nine by six inches. Okay, so I've got an A4 sheet of card and what I've done is just cut it down nine by six inches to get this size. And then what I'm going to do is score them to make my little pocket envelopes. So with my mount board, I'm going to score, first of all, at get the right way up two and a half inches and then at six and three quarter inches rotate it once and then at five and a half inches so I'm a big piece just to actually show you where the measurements are I've scored along at two and a half then along at six and three quarters and then the end of your sheet should be at nine inches and then we rotate it once and we score at five and a half and the end of your sheet should be at six inches so I've just written the measurements on my bigger sheet so I'll score at two and a half, six and three quarters, rotate and score at five and a half. So what you should get is your card separated into three sections. One section, two and a half inches, one section, four and a quarter, and one section, two and a quarter. And then at the bottom, there will be a half an inch strip. Okay, so to make your pocket, what you need to do with your scissors is cut where you've scored at half an inch along that bottom section, cut that first strip off up to where your score lines cross and then make a little notch that way. Then keep that fold there, come up to where the next cross intersection is and make a little cut going that way and then cut off this end. So what you should be left with is a piece of card that looks like that with your score lines like that. So I've already done the rest of my pieces of paper so these should now um, be the right size with the score lines done 
and you should have seven of them for the seven colours of the rainbow. So the next thing I do is doing them one at a time. I've got all my little Pearly Winks travel set here and I've put them all in the right order of the rainbow. And I've got an extra one there for my front cover. So I'm just going to get my dirty spray mat, which is a piece of corrugated card from a well-known supplier, just so I don't get my spray absolutely everywhere. And the way that the concertina's folded up, you don't have to spritz the whole of this piece of paper. So making sure that your score lines are the way that you scored them on the scoreboard, so you've actually got um, the, the valley facing up and the mountain at the bottom, if you see what I mean. All you need to do is just spritz just along where your score lines are because as you can see on the concertina book there's only part of that pocket on display so rather than waste your inks colouring the whole of the paper the card you don't need to so if I show you what I mean I'm just going to lightly spritz just where the score lines are down the side and if it hasn't quite reached the end just with a dry piece of rag I'm just gonna spread some of that color just to make sure it's over those edges on that side so I'm just gonna leave that just to dry and I'm gonna carry on with the rest of my rainbow colors so I've just done my red now I'm my orange So just a couple of squirts was all you need because all we need to colour is that bit at the side. Just put it to one side, carry on. So do this with all of the seven colours of the rainbow using your spritzy sprays. go so i hope everybody's keeping safe um the weather's quite nice at the moment as well so for me it's quite nice having the back door wide open the windows open just to get some nice fresh air in and at the minute rainbows are the, are the absolute in thing aren't they so i've been doing lots of different projects little hanging rainbow peg dolls little hugs I can write little personalised messages on the back. I've even been doing little key rings as well. Little rainbow key rings. I've also been blitz watching all my TV series. So I've watched five series of Warehouse 13 in the past two weeks. Um, that's because I've been furloughed at the moment. So I'm just sort of trying to keep busy with all my crafting things. Okay, so I'm just cracking on with my colours. Now this one is the vintage teal, but what I'm going to do with that is actually mix some of the sky blue in with it just to make that colour a little bit more darker so it's like um, the indigo. And then the last one is the purple. There we go. So I've got those spritz now. So they're just drying. So while they're drying, I'm actually going to get my two pieces of mount board that are for the cover. So they're going to be the ones that measure um, six and a quarter by four and a half. So while I've got my inks, I'm going to spritz these and I'm going to start using some of the hot pink for this because this isn't a colour that I used on the rainbow itself um, and it seemed a shame not to use it so I'm just going to mix some random colours on this mount board and I'm only going to colour one side because um, I want to leave the inside quite um, fresh and white and it really offsets the other colours um, I've got a little bit of sky blue 
There we go. So I'll just leave those to dry. Put them to one side to dry. That's it. Okay, so back to my spritzed pockets. So what I'm going to do now is just give them a blast with my heat gun. Um, and if you can see at the top there, I've still got a little bit of spray um, that missed my messy mat. So rather than waste that, I've already done that on my sample one. I'm just going to mop up that excess ink that's gone onto my um, cutting board onto my glass mat um, and just mopped it up so I'm going to do that for any of the sprays that go over my messy mat just to mop it up and I can use that on backgrounds so never waste anything okay so that's still a little bit wet so I'm just going to start giving these a little bit of a blast with the heat gun um, just to dry them off it doesn't take very long to dry because I've used quite thick card and I've also only spritzed lightly um, there's not a massive massive thick coverage across so it won't take very long to dry at all and as you can see it just goes down where the score lines are okay so that's that one and when you're doing this as well, try and keep them in the order of the rainbow. It's so much easier to put them together um, if you don't start messing about um, changing the order of what you did with them. So that's why it was important that I put my um, travel set in the right order for the colours before I even started. Um, but just always try and remember your rainbow. I always have to say... Richard of York gave battle in vain. I always have to try and remember that um, little saying just to remember my rainbow colours. There we go. And I remember um, earlier in the week I messaged Simon from Pearly Wink saying, oh, a rainbow set would be brilliant. It was quite late when I messaged him and he said he sent me a message straight back saying, What, do you mean my travel set? Yeah, sorry Simon. So the travel set is there ready for you um, in the rainbow colours. So it's ideal for all of these lovely rainbow projects that people are doing. And don't worry too much if it, the card curls because it will go flat again. Um, once it's dry and once you've actually put the envelope together see I've picked up a bit of the purple there but I'm not that bothered because it's going to be hidden anyway when I put, uh, put, put the envelopes together to make the concertina <coughs> excuse me so I'll just get that dried but it just gives a really lovely rainbow effect with those sprays and that will dry lighter as well <coughs> excuse me I just need to um, wait for my helper to come from um, upstairs so he can get me a nice drink that's the benefit of my husband working from home as well at the moment that's, um, he's my little beck and call person for when I need you know, little snacks, packets of crisps, cups of tea, things like that. But he is working very hard as well, I hasten to add. Okay, so I've got all my pockets there ready to stick together. So I'm going to start with my red one. And I'm going to turn it over and just fold over those crease lines like so okay so when you've turned it over what you need to do is have it this way up because it's easier for you to remember where you're placing your sticky tape okay so what we need to do is put some sticky tape along this left hand edge fold this right hand edge over 
So this is going to be your shorter edge, two and a quarter. This is your wider edge at two and a half. So we want sticky tape along the left, flip that over along the right, and then you need some along this bottom. So I'll just get my tape to do this. So a piece of double-sided tape along the left, flip that over a piece of tape along there and then along the bottom and then I take the tape off that the backing tape off that and then fold that over take the backing off the bottom and fold that up and just by having that right hand side a little bit wider it just means when you fold it over your fold um, is, is just near the center so you won't actually see it when the concertina happens on it okay so that's my red one done so I'm just going to put that to one side and then crack on with the others so tape on the left hand side like that flip that over tape along that side and tape along the bottom take the backing off that one take the backing off that one left goes on top of the right one and then this bottom flap flips up to make your pocket now these are really good pockets for any um, albums that you make any junk journals you might want to put a little notch in it but they're really good little pockets anyway and when you're putting them together just make sure that you've got your spines all the same way and um, it's just for when you put it together so i'm just going to crack on putting the tape on put the album itself this little tag album it doesn't take very long at all to put together Folded over, folded up. So if you always just remember to turn that right hand panel over straight away, you won't put your tape on the wrong side. You can use um, a tacky glue for this as well. It, it, you really don't need to it's fine it's not going to come apart surprising though because I've been at home and it's so quiet with the roads and that you just really get to hear all the different noises from outside so the dogs barking from just further down the street the birds are just going crackers at the minute outside um, where we live we live right by the sea so every now and then we'll get the seagulls coming over and um, they've got plentiful fish at the moment there's not as many people going out in the boats if 
but it does give you time to to sit and think. There we go, nearly nearly finished this. one see that's come through a little bit because I did spritz a little bit um, too much on that but it's on the inside I'm not overly bothered about that bumblebee come in the house now having a little nosy okay so now what we need to do is put this together as a concertina so I'm going to first of all start by putting some tape along the middle of this panel here right in the middle from the left right up to the right right down the middle but I'm not gonna take the take the tap backing off that yet what I am gonna do is put some tape on the one underneath it pokey tool for the backing And then with some wet glue, I'm just going to run a line of wet glue along either side of that tape. Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. Can, I'm good, I'm taping. Can we please have a juice, please? I have already introduced you, Steve, to say that while you're working from home, you're my little helper sometimes. <laughs> okay, so I've put my t roll of glue along either side of that tape in the middle and now I'm going to turn it over and place it on top of that purple one so now I'm going to my blue pocket Thank you. again I'm going to put some glue along either side glue came out and then turn it over and lay it on the top of the one underneath and carry on doing that tape along this one glue and then putting it on the one that you've just finished and by just putting that little line of glue on either side quite close to that piece of double sided tape it just means that your concertina will open really well for your tags turn that over So when you're doing this, you could get quite a few sheets ready made up with different colours and then just put them all together so you can do more than one concertina tag at a time really. Because they are so quick to put together. the last one like that okay so that is my concertina 
and as I said because you've actually glued down the center um, you can still see all the colors that you've sprayed and you didn't need to spray the center bits okay so back onto the top of the red now so like I did with the the um, violet at the bottom of it what I've got now is another piece of tape along that side so I've got a piece of tape there and a piece of tape there so now what I need to do is attach them to my covers so decide which is going to be your front cover and which is going to be your back cover because obviously your front cover is going to start with your red at the top and your violet at the bottom so I think I'm going to use uh, that one for my front cover so what I need to do as I did with the others is take the backing off that a line of glue on either side and this time what I'm doing I'm measuring it up from the bottom so that it's level and the, the cover is slightly wider than my pockets so I just need to make sure that it's even on either side of the pockets as well so I've lined it up flush there and then there's a little gap on either side there okay and then turn it over and do exactly the same with the bottom of your concertina so a layer of glue on either side and then make sure that's flush at the bottom and lines up with your other so that now is the book completed with the concertina attached so while that's just all the glue's drying what I'm going to do now um, is show you how I've done the tags and then decorate the ribbon so I'll just leave that to one side and the tags that I've got I've used the Pearly Winks mount board again for the tags so these measure six by four inches um, and I'm lucky enough I've got one of these um, chompers from We Are Memory Keepers and it's got um, a photo corner and an angled corner um, and I'll show you on this piece of paper that it chomps the corner off so you can make your own tags if you don't have one of these what I'll do I'll show you how to do it um, just with a pair of scissors or a craft knife so with this you just need to decide how big you want your corner so I'm just going to chop that little triangle off like that so I've just chopped that triangle off now to make sure that my labels even on either side I'm just going to flip that triangle to that side and then with a pencil I'm just going to draw where that triangle was and cut that line off and because you've used the same triangle for both corners it's going to be an exact match so don't try and do it by eye cut the first one off then turn it over and match it to the other corner that's if you haven't got one of the corner chompers but because I have, I'm going to do mine really quickly. And it does go through two sheets of this mount board as well. They're quite, uh, it's quite heavy duty, this. There we go. So that's the corners done. And then for the little hole in the centre, again, I've got my cropper dial. But if you haven't got one of those, um, if you use a piece of felt or um, a messy mat or something like some foam like this, you can always poke your hole through um, using a piercing needle, pokey tail, something like that, um, and just manoeuvre it around so you've got a big enough hole to thread your ribbon through. But again, I've got my cropper dial, so I'm just going to do mine a bit quicker. There we 
go. So we should have seven tags. I'm just going to cut that to match my other. And I've used the lighter weight mount board from Pearly Winks for this. Um, it's just an easy, you can actually cut it with your scissors as well. So there are my tags done. Okay. So now what I need to do is just colour my ribbon. And I'm doing that as well with my sprays. So I've got a piece of white um, ribbon. This is the um, Hug Snug Seam Binding rib Ribbon. Um, I get this from America. I usually get a job lot and um, pass it around friends as well. I usually get around 12 rolls at a time um, and get it imported. But that's, um, that's the plain white one. And it just means that you can um, ink it for whatever colour to match your project so what I'm going to do with this I've got some water in my spritzing bottle so I'm just going to spritz it first just to get it a little bit wet and it just helps the colours um, merge a little bit better when it's wet so again I'm just going to go in very random spritzing, just make sure I actually hit the ribbon with me spray. And it is lovely doing this because it just matches everything that you've done with this ribbon. And it really soaks that ink up. So I do this as well with distress inks, oxide inks to get all my colours merged so I'm just going to mop up a little bit but I want it to, um, the colours quite distinct on there as well if you mix it up too much it gets quite dirty looking and then I'm just going to get a piece of card again just to mop up that excess ink and then I'll use that on backgrounds There we go, don't waste anything. Put that to one side. Then just these odd little bits. Okay, so I'm just gonna blast that now with my heat gun. And because it's only a small piece of ribbon, it doesn't take that long to dry. But as you can see, it just matches lovely with the rainbow theme for this. Because I didn't mix it too much the colours have stayed um, quite separate and it just it just makes it um, a lot prettier it's not sort of gone muddy looking at all and it's quite a nice pastely effect but I would recommend whatever white ribbon you can get and then just using your sprays to match your colours up you just save so much money on buying different colour ribbons to be honest you can get the colours exactly how you want them. Okay, so that's my ribbon done. And I'm just going to cut some lengths to go through the tags. Two, three, four, five. I can always get a knot in anything, honestly. Six, seven, there we go. So if I get my tag, so I'll fold it in half and with the folded end, I'll just give it a twist and poke it through front to back 
create a loop and push the tails through and pull it tight and that's the ribbon on my tag and if you want to cut it short you can do so all I'll do then is start putting them inside my pockets like that okay so just carry on putting the ribbon through your tags to fill your tag book inside and then the last bit we need to do is the front cover so finding my other piece of card and I'm very naughty because I've cut the corner off it using my corner chomper so this is the piece of card that is five by three inches just to even it off I'm going to cut the rest of this around the side so it matches and then what I do with my black pen I just create a few squiggly lines all the way round and then go back over it with a bit of a straighter line and it just creates a quirky border on the card and I'm going to do exactly the same on the front of my book so you don't have to be exact with this so if you can't draw straight lines this is the ideal way of putting a really nice border on any of your projects it looks really effective Okay, so I'll just stick that on there we go and then just with some I've done all of these already with your little quirky stamps got my little flower girl with some little tulips there we go and I've added this on with um, just the pin flare gel glue just so it um, is a bit more 3D effect I'm going to add a little bit of this 3D gel to the back of my pictures. There we go. You don't need very much at all. Put a little flower there. Little flower there. And then I've just got my little border grass. Along the bottom. Like that. And then I'm just going to write my sentiment on the front. If you've, if you've got stamps for a sentiment, by all means use that. But I'm too lazy to get mine out. So I'm just going to write it. Unlike the other one, it's going to be stop and smell the flowers. So I'm just a bit quirky with my uh, lettering. There we go. Stop and smell the flowers. And then that's your little concertina book finished there we go so i hope you enjoyed that video um i'll be doing some more this week as well because i've been a little bit behind in that so if there is anything particular that you want me to show you what to do um just drop me a message on facebook or send me an email or text me um but just get in touch um and i'll see you next time all right bye for now